Good morning. I'm filming on my iPhone, so uh, hopefully this isn't too bad. I'm in Busan. Busan. I'm in Busan. There's these craters that came from some other countries like Philippines, Singapore, and uh, Malaysia. And the people that organized asked if we want to tag along. So we were like, yeah, sure. So um, we all came down as a group of friends. And so it's been a really great time. I've been trying this Innisfree Derma Formula Green Tea Probiotics Cream. My friend suggested it because he said he used it and he liked it. So I bought army pants and flip flops. It's rich. In a way, it's almost kind of oily. I mean, that's like the impression that I got of it at first, but to me, it doesn't feel oily anymore. And also the fact that um, it's like dry and cold now, I don't really mind. I tend to use this more at night, but um, this is the one I brought with me here to Busan, so. If you have rather dry skin, uh, I recommend it. It's rich, but not like, it's not like Nivea cream rich, you know what I mean? It doesn't really leave like a coated feeling, but I feel like it, the moisture actually lasts on my skin. I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna go straight into it. Sun cream, uh, one of the people from Malaysia brought this for me and gave it to me as a gift. This is from Face Republic and it's a uh, super screen sun gel SPF 50 uh, plus. I've tried this already and it's a fantastic sunscreen. I think a lot of the sunscreens that are coming out these days are really, really good. Uh, this one has no white cast, as you can see, hopefully. But compared to other gels, because usually when it comes to like gel anything, it's usually for oily skin. And so it'll be kind of like thinner, have like this almost like alcohol, even if, I don't know if there's gonna be alcohol in it, but this is why I don't mind things with moisture and a little bit of like richness to it because I don't really like the feeling of, uh, you know, products that are for oily skin to have that kind of almost like drying feeling. I was expecting this to have that, but it doesn't. So although it's a gel, she, uh, still packs moisture in it. There's almost like richness, but like it's a thin, rich, I'm basically like stepping around me saying that it's just moisturizing. And so because of that, um, makeup sits better on top of it because it's not this dry layer of like whatever. This is the BB cream from Face Republic as well. Perfect cover. Perfect cover? Meh. I don't think so. If you have the type of skin that's like a, uh, where if you put foundation, it looks, even if you put a little bit, it's like immediately obvious. I recommend more light, like tinted moisturizers or like BB creams. I, found out that I'm not as yellow as I thought I was. I'm actually more on the neutral side. So the person that was doing my personal color was like, oh, you probably would do better off with uh, BB creams because a lot, you know how a lot of BB creams have almost like a grayish neutral tinge to them. That's why I'm going with this today. Oh, oh shit. I always feel like I go through those phases where, because in my last few days, I'm always like, oh, thin, thin layers, like natural. But oh, I, I don't know if anyone can relate but whenever i watch certain beauty gurus that do certain styles i'll like get inspired to like do it that way so lately i've been watching a lot of youtubers that will use not like a bunch of heavy makeup but they use like more makeup than i was using so i'm just like oh my god concealer and like all that so today i'm trying to give that a break because i noticed my skin is the type of skin that it gets dried out really easy i have oily skin but it dries out super quickly if um if I use powder or if I like bake my face like several days in a row, my skin starts to suffer just from being like so matte for like several days in a row. Oh, by the way, this puff is from Philly Millie. Brush brand that you can find in Olive Young. Their one foundation brush is really, really uh, famous. On a whim, I saw this. It's called like their ter what is it like mochi puff or something or macaron macaron puff. You can buy. They're only it's like five dollars and you get two of these. And they're these really thick, like puffy, bouncy, squishy cushion puffs basically. And it's really wide and uh, covers a large area, so I can do base quickly. But the way this puts my product on. It blends everything beautifully and it's way more convenient than carrying a beauty blender around. I don't even have to use this wet or anything. Anyway, just for the fact that it's really inexpensive and it blends foundation like a dream, I recommend it. I just don't know if you can find it online. If you're in Korea, I would recommend stopping by Olive Young and stocking up. And I noticed that they last pretty well. Like this part is, uh, it feels almost like that faux leather in a way. It's not exactly that, but it feels like that. Um, and I've washed it several times, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not losing like it's, um, if you use a beauty blender, if you, wash, if you wash it a few times, it starts to like crumble apart. This hasn't done that so far. I'm gonna use liquid concealer, this Pony Effect Pro Fit. Just like a little, because I want a little bit extra coverage, but I'm not trying to cover everything. I recently picked up the new uh, Pony Effect 
Whisper lipsticks from Mimi Box. I didn't get, I bought all the colors except one because I didn't really feel like buying it. But it's, they were having an event where if you buy one for like 25,000 won, you get a free item from Pony Effect you can choose. There was um, not this concealer, but their newer concealer, the Cover Fit concealer or something like that, or like the Galaxy Lip Gloss or I don't know, one of those items. But it was one of those things where I'm like, I didn't really want any of them, any of the extra items, but there was no other option. Like you have to do it. So I ended up getting like six new concealers that I don't really need. Oh my God, I forgot to do this. And my lips are actually in pretty good condition because I've been, um, Recently, I've been like keeping them moisturized with my with my new product, the View 92 Multi Lip Melt. Can you tell? It's kind of like like the wet part of the lips, and then there's like the dry part, the crusty, wrinkly part. Just a little bit. Lip toner, the Redual Lip Toner. A little bit goes a long way. This will soften my lips and kind of prep it for moisture that you put afterwards. And for now, just a thin layer of. The lip milk. Both of which come together. $30. The pre-order is up. Pre pre-order is up on my website. So to make a great gift for yourself or a friend or family member for this winter because I felt like it's getting it's cold now. Like it's cold now in Korea. So my lips have been uh she they've been screaming. I'm not gonna leave it on too long. I wanna show you how it works. Um so I, I just put it on, but uh, let me do my eyebrows really quick. The speedy brow from Petty Peta. Sometimes it helps to start out on the outer corner just to make sure that they're even on both ends. My eyebrows are severely uneven. If I do one eyebrow completely first and then I try to do the other one, then they end up not looking the same. And yes, I know they're sisters, not twins, but it just looks better the closer they are matched, in my opinion. Everyone's brows are different, but sometimes for some people, it'll be like a, th a thick amount of eyebrow here, but here at the front, it starts to get thin. Kind of draw up until like, where the thick part ends. This is the part that's like really important that you need to keep very light because that's what keeps the brows looking more natural. That part at the front, if that if you start really filling that in, then it will look more drawn on. And then, then uh, Excel Eyebrow Mascara. <coughs> Just to lighten my brow hairs. Now I'll keep the lip milk on until the very end usually, but right before I do my lip makeup, but uh, just doing my eyebrows. Blotting it, you can see how much more soft they look. And this is not like the inside feels like moisturized. It's not just like this coating of balm that I put on because not, you know, a, a chapstick and like Vaseline are great, but it's just coating. It doesn't really, it's like your lips are dry, but you just coat it. You're just coating the dryness. You're not like hydrating it. So the lip milk kind of does both, but it's meant to provide moisture on the inside. That's what it's really meant for. So I'm gonna put more on. A little bit of Smashbox eye primer. My favorite eye primer. Kind of warm it up on the back of my hand. And before it dries, I just tap it on my eyelids. I feel like it's cleaner that way. If you just put it directly on the eye, sometimes you can put too much. With any eye primer, I recommend doing that. It should be the clear ones though. The ones, there are a lot of primers coming out these days that are like really white so they can make your shadows pop, but this is not one of them. While I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna contour my nose real quick. This is the 3CE um, Tawny tuning palette or whatever. I'm, I'm trying to use it up, so. That's what I'm using right here. I'm gonna try to keep it more natural, so. Not really here, but like really like on the part that's actually deep set. I'll put it there. And then whatever left is left on the brush, I put on, on the tip. Ish, like here. And then I'll kind of lightly dip in the dark one. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh And kind of blend around here at the edge of my brow just so it kind of like connects into here. And makes the nose look a little bit taller. Whatever's left, then I, uh, at the very end, to kind of give that roundness here. But I mean, I don't do it all the time. I just, sometimes I go in too hard with the contour. So this looks super like, what is it? Like I put too much contour on the side, right? But nothing here. So it's just like, oh, like just this. So it doesn't, so it looks like my nose is just like this flat, like triangle thing. So to add dimension, I put some here and sometimes I'll lightly right here to make this part look more in, like it really is. This here, I've never actually used, um, but I've been using lately just cause one, I need to use it up and two, 
Um, I like the, I kind of like the way it looks. I don't think it makes a huge, huge difference. It's a highlighter that's matte and has no like shimmer in it. So it's good for parts of the areas that, um, like here especially, it really helps slim it, the nose. When you connect this, like right next to the contour you put onto the cheek and you like highlight this area, it helps reinforce that uh, nose contour. In here. My cheeks kind of go in here. So I try to put this highlighter there to kind of brighten this whole part. So my face looks more round rather than like all right, so the eye primer should be dry now. This is the palette I'm gonna to use today. And I've been really into this because you can just look at it and you know, these are the colors I'm gonna use or that I would be into. It kind of looks like the 3C Overtake palette. Similar vibes. It's supposed to be brick, but I don't really get brick from it. I actually start with blush first, just because I, I want to be different. There is a tiny mirror. I, I don't know. They have like, this is like a series. So they have different type, types of, uh, colorways in this palette and they put like a window here so I guess you could see the colors in there but the mirror is like this tiny ass little thing and I don't know how I feel about it. Technically you really only need that slit to just see your eyes but some I don't know I just prefer like full blown like like fully fully realized mirrors. So I normally use this color as a base but I really like it as a blush too. I think it looks really pretty. Now, using the same color, I'm gonna use that as a base. I actually might put a little bit of powder on my eyes because these shadows, they're really, really pigmented actually. But they skip a little bit if the base is like moist or tacky. The double-ended uh, brush from 3C. So, starting off at the bottom, near the lash line, put a, a good concentration of that. And if you have really like, like these kinds of eyes, it helps to like really look down into the mirror to like flatten your eye as much as possible to make the blending easier. Cause if you do this, the, the surface is just like really curvy. So it's hard to get a good blend. This color is kind of, it's very orangey, but it has like a pink hue to it. Kind of corally, all those nice words. I use this color so much that I'm gonna run out of it first. And the reason I like this palette is because it's one of those palettes for me, each shade has a purpose. And I don't look at it thinking like, oh, what am I like, I like the looks? Cause I kind of just do the same look with each palette that I have, which I personally don't mind. That's what I like. So that's one of the reasons I really like this palette is because all the colors have their purpose. But if I run out of that color, I mean, I guess I could use this, but I feel like it's, that's the color I tend to use on the outside and it's kind of dark. And then using the smaller brush on the end, I'm gonna dot that along the lower lash line. Actually taking it pretty far down. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this or not, but... It's fall! I'm gonna take a mix of these two colors here. Outer corner. Oh my god, he's, holy sh- oh my god. The shimmers and the glitters in this are really freaking good. Um, this one, it's kind of like, if you can see, it looks like the kind of uh, shadows that they have in the Huda Booty, Huda Booty, Huda Beauty palettes that are really, they have like moistness to them. So they're super shiny. These ones are more like, um, kind of like top coats in a way. So although they're sheer, they're more just for shimmer. I like to use the shimmer right here. It looks, doesn't really look like anything, but I like to use it in the center here to add dimension. And to highlight the center so you can see the difference. And also it almost prevents it from looking too dark on my eyes. This adds lightness to it. So um, you see that, the effect that it has. This palette comes with like this, you, I thought it was useless at first, but um, I guess I'm just annoyed by the fact that it's like this loose thing that's in there that I have to deal with and make sure that it doesn't fall out. But it's really good for adding point uh, to certain parts. So this really glowy champagne-y sort of like vanilla-y highlighter I like to use here. And the shape of the brush really gets in the uh, inner corner. So I do 
I do like to keep her around. This gold here, it's a very neutral gold. It's not too yellow. It's not, yeah, I don't know. It's a very neutral gold. I like to tap that here. Tap her in the center. And spread like outwards. And then using this uh, brown here, it's not the deepest brown. And uh, it's, a, it's like a satin finish brown, but I like to use it as liner. And it's just like the brown that's in the 3C Overtake palette. But I like to use it as liner, even though it's not like obvious, obvious, it adds like just the amount, right amount of depth here in the inner corner. I feel like that really deepens the eyes. When you put liner just on the inner corner. This shade, this is a really interesting shade. It's like, it looks like one of those duo chromey sorts of things, but it's more like a, in a way it is. It looks like green almost in there, but it's like, it has like this orangey pink shift to it. And it's really pretty. I like to use that more so right here. So that's it for the eyes. Basically, I'm not gonna put any mascara or anything. I'm gonna use the darker color in the palette here to add the warmth on the outside. My bangs are gonna be down, so I don't think I need to put like all the way up there. And I like to just like blot it on. Not so much swiping because it erases the base, especially because I use such a thin base, I use the BB cream. And then for highlighter, Another uh, color that I don't really use in this palette, this one, I thought it'd be like a pink sort of highlighter, but it, you see that? Very warm, very gold, very, very pretty to use on top of like a more warm blush like this. And where I'm putting it is not so much like here, but more like here. I don't, I think you're gonna see too much in this video because of the lighting, but uh, I was sitting on the bus yesterday because I did the same look and it was so pretty. Okay, I have to like leave now. We have to film a TikTok for Mimi before we leave the hotel. I primed my lips with the uh, View 92 lip primer that I'm working on that will come out later, uh, but the lips I'm gonna use is uh, our dear friend Morgan from The Beauty Breakdown, I've been watching her for years. Uh, congr <laughs> congratulations to her. She released a line of lipsticks with a VDL, which is a, a big deal. She released four colors that are very wearable, which is my uh, my jam. This is Amber, Lucky Amber. It's a beautiful, it's like this velvety matte like lipstick. Super pigmented. And I like to put it just in the center. It's really pretty like, like burnt orange, sort of dikim. I think it matches the rest of the makeup. I look crazy right now, but once I do my hair, it should, I hopefully it's okay. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jamie. She came to my room, so I'm gonna do her makeup real quick. Yeah. So this before. <laughs> Hi, Mimi. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. Mark the dump truck in the flesh. Here comes the cootie squad. We should shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Look who's with her. Oh my god. Dang, dang. Dang, 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 dang,